Jay, the New Year's is upon us. Which resolutions do you plan to conquer in 2020? Uh, sleep through the night, not get up and eat cereal. Well, perfect, because we have the Sleep Number 360 smart bed that helps oh. everyone get the proven quality sleep Worked that great. will change their life. You can use the Sleep IQ app to help create a routine. Individual fit technology only at a Sleep Number store. Encourage listeners to visit a Sleep Number store to explore the science behind the bed. Discover comfort for you and your partner. Visually see your body's pressure points. React to Sleep Number 360 smart bed. Guys, Sleep Number is incredible. If you're having any tough time sleeping... That's this is this is 100 percent the way to go, and it's proven quality sleep. Discover proven quality sleep with the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. You can save a thousand dollars on a Queen Special Edition Smart Bed now seventeen hundred and ninety nine dollars during the January sale. Sale, I said sale. Only at a Sleep Number store or sleepnumber.com slash cadence. C a d e n c e. Sleepnumber.com slash cadence. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Views, the podcast where we're actually recording this one straight from my bed. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Natalie's on my left. Woo-hoo. Jason's on my right. Hi, guys. How you doing? Natalie and I are sharing, sharing a blanket. Don't want to let you know what's going on underneath. Some cozy vibes cozy. In here. And, and Jason's on the opposite side. Totally creeped out. He's in the corner all alone by himself. Yeah. I always get scared when Jason... Have you ever thought about... Have you ever thought about like sitting on a curb and then going to sit on your bed? How disgusting that is! Uh, when when were you sitting oh. on a curb? It's really gross. Isn't it? it is pretty gross. Yeah. Like I like I, I used to go outside and I used to like sit on curbs. Like when I would drink my like Arizona tea, and then I would go home and lay in bed. And how disgusting is that? Like I'd sit on the curb at Seven mm-hmm. Eleven. That's pretty gross. And everything's on my ass, and then I would go straight plop on the bed. I don't know. It's kind of disgusting. It's kind of a weird intro to start off this whole thing. But moral of the story: don't sit on curbs. <laughs> Natalie says something to me last night. She goes, she goes, did you like 2017 Natalie better? Or, oh my God. Or, 2000, or 2020 oh. Natalie better? Okay, you and I go, context. well, 2017 Natalie didn't refer to herself in the fucking third person. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. That's the best way to describe 2020 Natalie. <laughs> it was her referring to herself in the third person. Man. Wait, what? What do you mean? What was the? Okay, the context was you're we talking about our new assistant Taylor and how it's so funny how when people come into the group when they first come in they're very like shy and timid and then like after some time they open up and like you can really sense someone's personality. Yeah. So Jason sure. was talking about me in that sense and I was like, yeah, well in 2017 I literally just sat in the corner and like wanted to cry every day because no one would talk to me and I felt so like awkward and shy. Sure. And now, That's like, not true. I talked to you so much. Yeah. I you, literally went out of my way to make yeah, you feel you're good. Making, you're making this. So no, Jason dramatic. was the nicest one. You're making this. Uh, Were what? other people not nice to you? Yeah, this guy sitting right here. Who? Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> is there another guy in this bed? She's talking about you. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Um, oh, well, that's that's good. I'm glad you feel more comfortable. I like 2020 Natalie way better. Thank you. I mean, I like 2017 Natalie too. If she wants my to come back, Natalie, I, I like both now. Uh, my favorite Natalie was 2013 Natalie when yeah. we were juniors in, in high school. That was my favorite Natalie. <gasps> really? Yeah, I went downhill from there. Oh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What was so? What was so great I'm about kidding. 2013? Yeah, what, what, about, what happened in your year that was just? That's when Natalie was the prettiest in 2013. I know, I know. I honestly feel like David really thinks that I'm I like totally peaked kidding. in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you've given this some thought because you talk about it a lot. You bring I've it up. I've never but, said that you were no, prettier in 2013 as as opposed to no, you but like now. when you when you joke and you know how like when everyone jokes, there's a little bit of truth behind a joke. Sure, like he yeah. always talks about how like in high school you were hot shit, but now it's like I don't know. And <laughs> I'm like, right. okay. I don't know. <laughs> Today I had a I had my first like official photo shoot. Yeah, it was so exciting. Was, oh yeah, that was interesting. I'm not allowed to talk about uh, what it is. <laughs> it's such an LA thing. To, it's such a Hollywood thing to say you did something and then and then just backtrack and go. Well, I actually can't tell you guys anything about it. <laughs> uh, no, but I, I did a photo shoot. It was it was for somebody and uh, it was like a proper photo shoot. Like I dressed up and shit. It was for fashion. It was like a. You it was know. interesting when you, when you saw the clothes on you. You were like, wow, he looks ridiculous. But then when you see the photos, you're like, oh, okay, I get it. With the light and stuff, it looks good. Yeah, this was like my first photo shoot where like I had to like actually change into an outfit that wasn't like a black shirt. Right. Which was pretty terrifying because it was like super out of my comfort zone. Even like getting like makeup done, like I'm just when you so when terrified. you walked out, I thought it was a prank. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is a prank. I was like, what would be the payoff of that prank? Oh, yeah, Jason. Like, I thought it was their version of a prank. Like, uh, we're going to make him look so. And they were like, no, th- th- this is it. This uh, is like, Oh, yeah. yeah. Jason came to see the photo shoot and, and they had him, like, sit in, like, the lobby area. And I I was coming out to, like, surprise him with the outfit I was wearing. 
and I walked out, and it was like dead silence. Yeah. Like, I remember you guys were just, like, completely quiet. Yeah. Like, what happened? I, all I could see was this giant yellow fireman's jacket that you had on. <laughs> this oversized fireman's sure. jacket with... Fashion. Don't spoil the art we, we have um, coming. But the, but when I saw the pictures, they look really good. You should be excited. Yeah. No, the photographer that we shot with was fucking insanely good. It was very bizarre. He was I've, very good. I've, yeah, he was great. Um, but yeah. I, and then uh, Carly and Aaron and I went to the women's shelter after. Okay. What happened and, uh, we we just drove down. I, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on downtown. There's like like 20, more ti 20 times the homeless people that were there. Yeah, it's so depressing. When you go downtown, like you can go down. Yeah, there's like an entire neighborhood that's yeah. like 20 blocks of just tents. Yeah. They have a market called Skid Row Market. Oh, really? Yeah. It's called Skid Row Market. Everything's cheaper? I didn't go in, but I don't think everything's cheaper. Maybe. Maybe things are well-priced. I don't know. It's like an entire town of just literally of just homeless people. Like the entire... It's, it's like a different world. It's really, really scary to see. Uh, hey, have you ever been somewhere and um, you want to go and, and then they go, okay, now we can open it up to questions. And then the people start asking the questions. And then you're like, God, fucking stop asking questions. I want to go. No, what do you mean? Oh, I was at some school last night and we were taking the tour and it was like really long. It's so like woman raises her hand. Like she asks a question. It's like, yes, there's a bus. We, yes, you can take a fucking bus. And it's clearly just somebody like wanting to hear themselves talk. Like oh. basically raising their hand and saying, I I've been alone with myself all day. So this is going to be my opportunity to talk a lot. No, I know what you mean. Oh my God. I know what you mean. I hate when people ask questions. Did you ever go like when you were in school, did, did the teacher ever explain to you like a field trip and you never paid attention because you knew like it was just completely pointless and then the other kids were just going to know what to do and you're just going to follow everybody? Oh yeah, all the time. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, do like, you know what's pointless is like, the beginning the first day of school when they give you like your syllabus and they talk about the year mm -hmm. like that is the most boring thing in school you could possibly do because you don't even pay attention yeah but it's like the best day because you don't need to pay attention oh no it's for sure the best day and i would hate it if they took it away one time i was in science class and i asked i go hey what happens when you eat cereal this, this woman her name was miss capola she was a real bitch the first day of school i said what happens with this how does the cereal separate from the milk sure you know what i mean she, and she goes don't worry we're gonna learn that like that and i waited all year <laughs> <laughs> and we never ever learned it and on the last day i went up to her i go so what happens with the cereal and the milk yeah and she was like huh what oh i i, I don't know you ha you'll, you'll have to look it up like that wow and i thought it was a pretty good question no that is a good question you're saying like what tube does what yeah how does it separate i guess you're right i mean is, I is it like a strainer well he does have a good point like does the cereal no no oh, you don't think so like no, because when you when you take a spoonful of cereal milk, you chew the cereal up a little bit. Yeah. And it all goes down the food pipe. That's right. Great. Okay. But then the milk is just <laughs> fully liquid. So it has. Your stomach. Great. What pipe is it going to go down, guys? It all goes to your stomach. I'm very confused. Well, it do, you, do, you, do you pee and poop or do you have just one everything? Yeah. Do you just have like one thing that <laughs> shoots oh, out everything? You, oh, 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 sorry. That's the pipe we're talking about? Yeah, yeah. So like how does it split? How does it decide? How does liquids? How does the cereal because go? I'm going to go down the poop pipe. Bye. It's and then not, that's not the way. That's not. It's not because like you're eating food <laughs> that that's what you pee your shit out. It's it's just like a matter of what your intestines are are like absorbing. Sounds like you don't know, and you're kind of just bouncing around. Sounds like you guys have no idea what you're talking about, and I'm the only intelligent. Okay. One. Oh, I definitely you. don't. I've been worrying worrying about this since third grade. Yeah, fucking someone helped. This is like on. a pretty straightforward answer. Yeah, of course. We should with. cut the podcast. I'm always t I'm always talking to Jason about um. Like I'm, we're always like looking for stories to talk about on the podcast, and he's always like, "I'm out of ideas. I'm out of ideas. I don't have any any stories." <laughs> oh, yeah. And and the other day we were in Vegas just having dinner, <laughs> and then fucking out of nowhere he goes, he goes, "You know I buried cocaine here once and got it the next morning." <laughs> and I go, "I go, what the fuck? Why are you not telling these stories on the podcast? Like, how do you still have stories?" No, I buried it and got it like a year later. What? Even better. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what do you mean? I don't know. I was in Vegas and uh, I had all this cocaine. I don't know. Like, I was with a lot of people and they all flew out. Oh, and course. I was left with like all the cocaine. And I was like, How much would you say? Like, how much? Like, what was the amount? Like an eight ball. Okay, which is how much? Which is like, like enough for everyone. Two hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Two hundred dollars. Like, if you're gonna put it in a cup, like how much would it be? In a cup? An eight ball is, is like that would be enough for like twenty people to have a good night. Mm -hmm. I think. Wow, you're very generous. Okay, so then you, you didn't want to get on the I also, I also, when I did cocaine, I wouldn't do a lot of it. 
Yeah, I would only do like three lines. Of the- <laughs> we don't need actual fucking numbers. <laughs> I'm just letting you know I wasn't like a fucking coke fiend. No, I get That's it. That's all. But already saying three lines to some people is already like, whoa, Jesus, fuck. Yeah. I thought like half a line was like, uh, regardless, cocaine's not good. The, the point is I wouldn't sit there and do an entire eight ball in a night. Okay. That's a but lot nobody, of cocaine No one made. even knows what no eight, one, ball, uh, eight ball is. <laughs> Everyone knows. People know what fucking cocaine is. Okay, you're what right. What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know who's listening. And some, oh, someone's listening God. with their kids too, so we got to play it down. Huh? Yes. So anyways, I don't know. And then at the time I was like, well, I'm not going to throw out all this cocaine. It's like really good. And yeah. I wasn't going to fly with it. Sure. So I was like, I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll bury it. I was at the Hard Rock. So I walked across the street and I started walking for a while. And then I saw like a hotel that was like a motel that was no longer in operation. And I just fucking dug a hole. With your hands? With my hands. And I, I put it in and I put it in the rocks. And then I, uh... You sure you weren't a coke fiend? This sounds like yeah, something bro. a coke fiend would do. That sounds pretty fucking... <laughs> I don't think that's a coke fiend. I was like, I don't know when I'm going to be back in Vegas. Maybe I'll be back. I, I, honestly, like, uh, more than a year later, I went back and I was, like, hanging out. And I was like, oh, oh, shit. That cocaine. I wonder if it's there. Get the fuck out of yeah. here. There's no way this is 100%, true. I swear on your sexy body, David. Thank you. And on your photo shoots with fancy magazines. I 100% did this. And then that was it. And then I went over there and I was like, I took a cab over there and I was like, no way. There's no way it's still here. And then I just went and dug up the hole. I was like, oh yeah, that was it. And then I, and then I got back to my friends and they were like, man, we really need some Coke. And I was like, I have some. Did you tell them that it was from a year ago? Yeah. I did. I told them, but I didn't want to tell them before and, and get their hopes up. Cause I was like, there's no way it's there. So they were like, all went to breakfast and I was like, I'm going to take a ride. And then I'll I'll make their day if I bring it back. This is the wrong question when talking about cocaine, but is it healthy to do cocaine? It's really good for you, actually. No, like a lot it, of people say it's not, no, but it's wonderful for no, you. No, I mean, is it? <laughs> is it gives it, a lot of clarity. No, clears the sinuses. Jay, like, is it okay to do cocaine from a year ago? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, it didn't like yeah. decompose and like, like the chemicals break down. It's not okay to do cocaine to begin with. <laughs> 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 this is really good. Wow, that's crazy. It was like really pure. Do you have more stories like this that you've just been hiding? I have a ton, but I want this podcast to run 15 years. <laughs> so I have to wait a little bit. Hey, you know what people come up to me in Boston? You know, someone, girl come up to me. This is what I hate. Yeah. And I love meeting fans. I really do. Sure. It, it's, it really makes my life. Yeah. It, it makes me feel so good. Like yeah. I'm someone and I'm important. This girl comes up to me and I hate, this has only happened a couple of times. She looks up to me and she goes, hey, I know I'm supposed to be mean to you like that. And I was like. Why? Sure. She's like, I know I'm supposed to be really mean, but I just want to say, I love the videos. And I was like, why do you have to be, why are you supposed to be mean to me? Oh, wow. That's funny. That that was odd. Yeah, that is different. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry that you get encounters like that. No, it's okay. I feel like every week you have a new encounter with somebody that you come and talk to me about. I know. This girl spit on me the other day, but then she asked for a picture. (laughs) Jason, is there something that interferes with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? Working with you? Well, BetterHelp Online Counseling is there for you. They have licensed professional counselors who are specialized in anger, family conflicts, LGBT matters, grief, self-esteem, and a bunch more. Anything you share is confidential. If you're not happy with your counselor for any reason, you can request a new one at any time. There's 3,000 U.S. licensed therapists across all 50 states. It's available worldwide. It's convenient, professional, and affordable. Best of all, it's really, really affordable because with the discount code VIEWS, you can get 10% off your first month. So why not get started today? Go to betterhelp.com slash views. Simply fill out a questionnaire to help them assess your needs and get matched with a counselor you'll love. That's betterhelp.com slash views. We went to... The, the the reason we were in Vegas for the uh, in the first place was um, because we went um, our, our buddy Jeff like we were brainstorming vlog ideas and late at night he goes I'm gonna go put 20k on a color and I was like uh, okay that's great that sounds great like I've never seen any of my friends do it it's always my money so I'm like this is a great idea so the next morning I invited him over and I was like let's go do the Vegas thing and he's like fuck I thought you would forget by now I don't want to do it. But but then after talking to him for a little bit, I kind of convinced him that it'd be a fun idea. So we got on a flight. It was me, Jason, Natalie, um, and Todd. Yeah, we we flew over. Four thirty flight. Four thirty flight. We flew over to Vegas. Thank you for giving the specifics, I know, Jason. What does that have to do with for, you, he, well, I like the specific setting. He's painting the picture. The sun was setting as we were taking off, mm-hmm. if you need to know. So we landed. It well, because we're supposed to be back on the eight thirty. Yeah, yeah, we're supposed to be back on the eight thirty. So it's a short Vegas trip. 
Um, so we get there. The casino gives us the fucking hardest time about giving him giving him the money. First, we need players cards. Yeah, we need some which players we never cards. needed before. That we got to stand in this line to make the players cards. It's taking forever. It's it took us about an hour before we could even play. Todd and I get in line, and then when we get up there, they go, "You guys have players cards." We were like, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and every every time every time we gamble, we unanimously decide on a color, and it's never like a debate ever. And this time it was black, so we put the twenty k on black, and we fucking won. That was it. We won. We were really excited about it. We couldn't believe it. And um, then we went to go cash it, and there was like a problem cashing it. She was just confused about. She was just slow. She was just the she just slowest, didn't want to help us. Very very slow person at the front desk, whatever cashing the money. So then we got the money and we just fucking sprinted like to the airport because we, this was the 830 flight was the last flight out that had seats available that we could fly back to LA and we needed, we needed to be back that night um, because we had to shoot early in the morning. And then uh, we missed the fucking flight. We literally missed it by like five minutes. Um, so as we're leaving the airport, I have an idea as we're leaving, as we're walking out of the airport, this couple walks by. With like, and they're they're fully decked out in red, and they have they have these coffee mugs in their hand with a little red lid on top of the coffee mugs. And I go, I have an idea. Let's go back to the casino. We put 10k on red, and if we win, we'll get a private jet to take us back to LA mm -hmm. um, to make it home tonight. And we went back, and we put 10k on red, and surprisingly, we won, and we mm -hmm. got our flight back that day. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was. That was, that was one of the craziest Vegas experiences. It was fun. We've gone about six times, and we haven't lost. Yeah. I don't know what it is. We've gone, we've bet 10 grand twice, 20 grand twice, and 10 grand another time, and we, 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 never, we never end up losing. Never lost. And uh, every time I'm like, okay, I'm never going back because I don't want to test my luck, but this time I think I'm done. I'm done going to Vegas because, because I can't. I'm very happy with how our luck turned out. I don't want to fucking jinx mm. it anymore. Even on the first spin, the, the ball, it landed in red. Yeah. And we all yeah. watched it. And then at the last second, it just jumped out in black. The second time we came <laughs> back to the casino to put 10 down for the private jet, um, Jeff was like super cocky and was like, yeah, we're getting free fucking money here. Yeah. Like talking to like, you know, like the, the guys that were running the tables and stuff. Yeah. And you could tell that they were not digging it. And, and then we won again. And just to see their reactions. Was, the was, pit boss had a really stern look on his face. Cause I don't know who said it, but someone said, we're going home in a private chat. <laughs> <laughs> I got buried in the backyard uh, twice this week. Yeah. I thought this was an entertaining story. David had a, David had a good idea, which was bury me in the backyard and then hide my head and then scare people. Yeah. Now, this is not 2017, Jason. This is 2020, Jason, <laughs> yeah. whose body is really decrepit at this point. So about 55 minutes in, Jason just started <laughs> fucking screaming. <laughs> and, and he was like, get me the fuck out of here. And like screaming, like like screaming, like he's been buried alive for like three days. Hang on. And he was foaming at the mouth, and he was screaming so <laughs> foaming at yes, the you, mouth. You, you, you there was no were. foam yes, coming yes, out of my were. mouth. Yes, you were. Oh, you, you, fuck you, you, you look, both. You get in the hole. You look get like, in the hole right now. I'll leave you there for an hour and fifteen you know you minutes. Like? Tell me how you, you feel. You know what you look like? You look like a soccer coach whose team was losing. <laughs> I look this like fucking God. foam all around your mouth. And he was screaming so loud that my neighbor, who I haven't seen in twelve months, didn't even think lived next door to me came out to see what was wrong. And I was like, it's fine. We're, we're just digging my friend up. Um, and then, yeah, and then we pulled him out. He showered. His no, 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 no. He pulled me out, and uh, I couldn't feel my legs. It looked they like were we blue. Had, it looked like we had just pulled out a corpse from the ground, literally. <laughs> my legs were blue. Yeah, Jason was fully, like, just white. Like, it literally looked like we got a dead guy, and we just yanked him out. Yeah, and I got to say, I had, a really, I had a real moment with you where um, – when once you finish the prank, uh, I was like really hurting, and then David. I'm going to give you a compliment. Thank you. David got on his hands and knees, and he started literally digging me out with his hands, and I was very, very touched by it. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I always. So I got that, you. I was. I thought that was really good. And then when I came out, even though I couldn't feel my legs, I had like a new lease on life. But then the next day, <laughs> <laughs> we were sitting here, and David didn't get a thumbnail or an Instagram photo. So David and I are like, okay, you got to go back in the hole. <laughs> yeah, so we have to dig the hole again. So then, and I was like. I was like, I was like, David, how the fuck did you not get a thumbnail? And he was like, Well, you were screaming so badly. I was scared. I was scared. Of <laughs> and, we, and I was like, Oh yeah, I guess I was he screaming. Was fucking That's why we didn't screaming. get the thumbnail. And then, um, so recently, a couple of days after that, we got to film with um, Justin Bieber, which is great. That's that's pretty insane to me to, to film with Justin Bieber because I, I told I told Justin about the story um, about how in high school there are these like like these uh, kids that were older than me and they used to make fun of me for having a Justin Bieber haircut. 
and they used to call me Bieber. I told him that story. I asked him if he'd fly if he'd fly back to Chicago with me to kick their ass, but he says he's busy because he's got his album coming out. But I know that I know that uh, <laughs> he's definitely he's definitely worried about me and that he'll help me out in the future. No, but he's he's like the nicest nicest kid you will ever meet and it was so crazy because we we did a bit where where uh, he hid in the back of my tesla and we would surprise people um it's cool like when i get to surprise people like a lot of people's reactions are like they, they, they could be f like a lot of fun reactions like people are, get really excited but with justin like there was one girl in particular who like who like was the biggest justin bieber fan like five years ago like sure. like like when she was growing up, like that's she's in college now, but when she was little, like that's all she would listen to. And like when she saw him, it was like a part of her like memory that she didn't even know she had, like just mm. opened up and she just fucking started sobbing. And like Justin was holding her and I, and I literally felt like I was like third wheeling. Like I felt like they were, they were having this like intense moment. And I was like, I, I don't even know what I'm doing sitting here. I feel like I'm like ruining this, but it was just so interesting. My fans spit on me. <laughs> <laughs> Justin's fans start crying. It's just so cool. It's Raising so cool him. to see like Justin's fans because Justin's a singer. So, so many people have like, people have emotional connections to songs. Right. So it's yeah. like, it's like really cool to see like their reaction to, to this guy who made some of the best songs that they grew up listening to. I don't know. It was the whole thing was so great. And he's, and he's such a sweet guy. I can't. I cannot. Like literally, it's like he doesn't even know how to be mean. Like if I told him I was like Justin, be mean, he wouldn't even know how to do it. Oh, that's nice. But I will say this. This part like really fucking really really bothered me. It was um, we pulled up to his house and it was like, and it's like an, it's literally an army of security guards yeah. outside, like five to seven. I don't. I, I couldn't see how many because there were just like three security cars. I don't know how many security guards were actually there, but it was like a it was like a heavily guarded house. Hey hey. Nice house. Nice house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think he's doing fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I would think so. Yeah. Yeah, I would think Justin has a really nice house. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. doing good. Cool. Um, good and, then, and then the, down the street was a line of like four or five cars, and it was all paparazzi. Gross. And they were it's and, awful. And they sit there, uh, he told me they sit there every day. Just waiting just for waiting him. to see what happens. Just waiting for him to leave his yeah. house. And then and then when I when I picked him up and we went to like the UCLA area, they followed us to the UCLA area, which is like doesn't bother me because it never happens to me. But like that's fucking crazy yeah. for that to happen to you every day. That like it, it people like like I would talk to my parents and I'd be like I, I I'd specifically talk about Justin Bieber and I'd be like, I don't see what the problem is about like paparazzi like he has so much money like what's who cares if paparazzi take pictures of him no but like when you see like i didn't understand it as a kid but when you see it in person that there's fucking all these like random strangers trying to document every single moment just of your that life. sound of the clicking like I, I imagine when he goes to sleep he must hear that mm -hmm. like i don't know it's it was dude it was mind-blowing mind-blowing they're they're just there's there. people on a different level it's of, it, of fame i felt just... i felt so so bad it sounds bad it sounds bad, but he, he's, he's... But hey, you have to look at it too like this. It's like, he, <laughs> he is, he's like really gifted. He has a gift. Sure. He makes millions and millions and millions and millions of people no. happy. Yeah. Like way beyond your level. I mean, I get, I, it's like, it's like a... <laughs> and so it's almost like that's his... He's so much better than you. <laughs> he is you so much better than you. You will never compare to him. You will never compare to Justin You are nothing Justin to Bieber. Justin Bieber. <laughs> but that's his, that's his, you know, that's, that's his gift and that's his place no, in life is to, to make people happy. And that part of it definitely sucks. But yeah. But hopefully, yeah. hopefully he can get other good things out of it. Like, uh, hey, his wife's pretty hot, huh? God damn! This is why we didn't invite you. <laughs> this is why we did, left you at home. No, Jason. Jason was. J Jason. Was, I wasn't gonna fucking say anything. Oh my god! No, I, I hate that you guys think that I'm gonna fuck things up with Justin. No, 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 no. That's not <laughs> what I thought. That's bullshit. I just thought. I, no, uh, no. Uh, oh we're we we're trying to. Uh, originally, Jason was gonna come, but then he didn't come just because things changed. Whatever. Jason was gonna come originally. And he was on his on the phone with his real estate agent because because he. Missed I am not name dropping. You guys are such <laughs> no. It's actually the opposite. No. You guys are so into celebrity and such star fuckers that no, no, if no. if I'm late, I I told her I'm really close to. Her. I go, oh yeah, I go there. There's something with Justin Bieber today. That's why I canceled. No, no, In other no, words, no, like no, no, that's, no. that's a reason to cancel. That's not how you said it. That's not how you said it. That's I had already told her. No, no, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go. Sorry, I gotta cancel the meeting. I gotta shoot with Justin Bieber. <laughs> 
I, 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 at that point, we were going to shoot with Justin no, Bieber. No, I know, I know we were, but it's just like, why throw that in? Why? Why? Do because you have to- it's a because it's a valid excuse for Karen. That's something that Karen would be like, oh, okay. It's not every day you fucking get to shoot with the amazing Justin Bieber. I guess. So I, that's I why it. I said I it. it. I get it. It was just funny. She's my real estate agent, who I'm like really close with, and she wanted to bring me some scones to thank me for buying the house. <laughs> What about? Okay. But like, it's why can't you just you say that you're David just... number two? <laughs> twenty twenty, Nat. Dude, Here we Jason go. and Natalie have been going at it. Really. Well, you know, she fucking makes fun of my son, Jason. Can he which is so obvious. It's so obvious that Natalie is jealous oh, you of always the say amount that. of time you that I spend that. with Wyatt and not with her. You guys know that Honey is the free online shopping tool that automatically finds the best promo code and applies them to your cart. And you know how great it feels to save. But how does it feel to save with Honey? Saving with honey feels like sliding into a seat on the train just before the door close. That's a really weird way to, to – that's a weird analogy because I feel like a lot of people don't ride trains. Well, I used to ride a train. Oh, here. They have another analogy just for you. Hitting every green light on your commute. Okay, that one I fuck with. What did you buy that honey saved you money on, Jay? Um, Banana Republic. I bought a bunch of shirts and ties. Yeah, you can buy a bunch. I don't think they mm-hmm. sell ties at Banana Republic. I don't think you know shit about anything. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> honey has found its over 18 million members, over $2 billion in savings. Did you know Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, including Macy's, Target, Sephora, Best Buy, and more? And they're adding more every day. Users love Honey. That's why it has over 100,000 five-star reviews on the Google Chrome store. Using Honey feels pretty great. Think of it as a little daily victory. Plus, it's free to use and installs in just a few seconds. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash views. That's joinhoney.com slash views. If you ever need to make a website, you should 100% be using Squarespace. Squarespace can allow you to showcase your work, blog or publish content, sell products and services of all kinds, promote your physical or online business, announce an upcoming event, or even special project and more. It has beautiful templates created by world-class designers. Powerful e-commerce functionality lets you sell anything online. It has a built-in search engine optimization, free and secure hosting, and nothing to patch or upgrade ever, and 24-7 award-winning customer support. You can easily create a website by yourself, and you can make it stand out with a beautiful website template. Head to squarespace.com slash views for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code VIEWS to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash VIEWS, and use the offer code VIEWS for 10% off. A dream is just a great idea that doesn't have a website yet. Make it a reality with Squarespace. Oh, you know what was funny the other day? What? Uh, when we had our little paintball competition going. Yeah. David does this thing where he'll you know pay people, and then he, he gets to shoot them with a paintball gun, and then it's you know, over like a, a week of time, right? Yeah. You yeah. go around shooting people. Yeah. Well, like- I, he, David did this a bunch last year, and I always said no. Yeah. But I agreed to it last week for a bit, and uh, – Man, it was really tough. No, it's no, it's not the pain. It's literally oh, just yeah. having walking around. So I went to my my club, you know, the old man club that I go to. Yeah. yeah. And I went and swam at night. And, uh, and you thought I was just gonna pop out. And I and then I was in the shower, completely naked, and it pops in my head. I'm like, fuck, he's in here. Now there's no. I know you're not gonna go in there yeah. and shoot me. But then again. I would. You might. <laughs> yeah. That would be the best place to get you, like in the gym shower. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's yeah. what I thought. So then I was like, and then I'm walking out completely nude, just wet, looking around at lockers. Then I, I go to my car. I have to look in the back seat and yeah. it's awful. Yeah, it's yeah, bad. I don't like it at all. Then I get to my house and it's dark out and I'm sitting in my car and I'm sitting there for like 10 minutes and I'm checking your location where your car is because I have your location. Oh. And then uh, Charlie comes to the door and she sees my car. She's like, Daddy, what are you doing? I'm like, Charlie, go inside. Go inside. You're picking the fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> it's not safe. <laughs> then um, my mom's like, he's not here. He's not here. Come in. And then so I, and as soon as I walk in the house, I'm like, oh, he's not here. She's like, but then again, he might be in the basement. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you were just living your life with paranoia. Yeah, I did this. I basically did this thing. I'm I'm gonna put it in the vlog, so I don't want to spoil it. But I did this thing where I paid my friends that uh, I'll shoot them with a paintball gun, um, in, in any time in the next couple of days. And people got so paranoid that I just called it off because like Jeff would like Jeff was like avoiding hanging out with me. Yeah. And like I, I saw him at the bar. We were all at the bar, and he was he literally patted me down when he saw me, and then like <laughs> to see if I had a gun on me. And then as he was leaving, as we were walking to our, our cars, he like quickly ran in his car and locked it and drove away <laughs> rather than waiting for me to go to my car because he thought I'd pull out a gun. So I called off the whole <laughs> fucking game because everyone was just so paranoid that I was going to shoot him with a paintball gun. Also, I was wearing uh, double layered clothes. <laughs> 
oh, yeah, the yeah. entire night, and it was so hot. Yeah, Jason came over. I was like, why are you sweating? It's like, I have seven layers on. <laughs> In case you shoot me. Well, weren't we talking about people's names the other day? Yeah, yeah we t- Natalie brought up something about people's names. <laughs> oh, yeah. It Were you saying genius. that? It was I genius. Was, when I, she said it, I was like... It was this. genius, okay? I was just thinking about how everyone in our friend group, but their name is so suiting for them. Or just some people in general, like Todd is such like a Todd. Like his his name suits him and his personality. Yeah, like Jeff. Todd. Jeff is like, Jeff. That's Jeff. That's a sexy guy. <laughs> Natalie makes sense. Natalie. You, the only person that doesn't make sense is you. Because yeah. Jason's like a super cool name. <laughs> You know what? Like when you when you hear Jason, you go, "Fuck yeah, that's fucking." Where's Jason? Where's this dude? See, when I think well, of a Jason, I think of like kind of like a like a slimy cheese ball-y kind of thing. Like really? A, yeah. A cheesy person named Jason? Yeah. No, like, I like think I've known some cheesy like, Jasons. No, I think of like Jason Statham. Like Jason's a cool fucking name. See, I don't your, think your name that would be perfect would be like Walter, like Walter, <laughs> yeah. or or or, or, or Mort. 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 <laughs> Mort would be really good. Kind of like a Mort. Yeah, yeah. I could see that. Even oh, Chucky. Mort. Yeah. Chucky. S- I mean, but I could also see Natalie being named like Gwen. No. You look like a Gwen. No, she doesn't look like a Gwen. She looks like an Amber, if anything. An Amber? Amber? No, yeah. she doesn't look like an Amber. What do oh. I look like? Amber's. Uh, you look like a, <laughs> you look a squirrel. You look like a- <laughs> <laughs> Jason, I have a question. Why does your assistant Dima always take off time and do things at the most inconvenient times possible? Oh, wow. Look, Natalie's complaining about other people taking vacations. That's ironic. <laughs> yeah. I don't take How many of- days were you in Mexico? Fucking Six. 300. <laughs> Six days. 6,000. David said it was 6, three weeks. Days. Is that true? No, it's no, not she was true. There for, a while. for well, him, he just misses me so much and he I just think longs what for my presence. What Natalie's saying is that Dima is gone right now and it, we were all just gone for the holidays. Right. And then a week after the holidays, Dima takes a vacation. Literally. Which kind of doesn't make sense. I mean, I would say that to Dima's face. I literally told him, I was like, why are you gone right now? Like, you, you, we, everyone was just gone for the holidays. But... <laughs> Dima does run on different time than us. He, his vacation times are a lot different than the rest of us. Yeah, his Halloween is in July. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when we're all at the beach, he always comes dressed as Batman. Oh, that makes more sense now. <laughs> We, we went act- to a Golden Globes after party. After I'm party. just about, I'm just about to sink my teeth into some ribeye. I was so excited. And you're like, Jay, what the fuck? What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Eating? Put that down. No eating. No fucking eating. And I was like, what? Why did we come if oh to not God. have enjoy, to enjoy something? I did not sound like that. Oh, you literally did. David. Oh my God! Now he was there. Oh, oh. What the fuck? You do do that. You go, put that fucking down. Put it down. Put the put the fucking food down. And I was like. Like, I didn't do anything. And then I go, and then I go, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. <laughs> and then I, and then I put it down. The whole night was just like rushed chaos. We were like, the, part, the after party started at 8.30. It was 8.30 when we left the house. So we were already a little bit behind. David's like, what the fuck are we doing? Why weren't we leaving earlier? Like, we were supposed to be there earlier, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay. just on everyone's like, it's Yeah, you fucked up. It's you were the one that was late. I was here ready to go. We had four after parties to go to, and I wanted to make sure we would get all of them. I was the guy that was leading. I was chaperoning the group you weren't chaperoning yeah. you were dictating and there's a like a, there's someone a has to take charge no, all you gotta do is all you gotta do is like come on we gotta go let's go i you lost gonna... you for a while and i couldn't find you and i found you at the food station of course to my <laughs> of course i was at the food station is that what you're gonna say no of course all the food everyone's everyone's a big fat pig when they're eating but when you eat it's like oh it's time to eat it stop the world yeah, exactly. oh, you eat wow. just as much i eat quick i eat quick which isn't good doesn't make you better. It's not good quality of life at all That's to not eat good quick. Quality life. I'm just saying, I get it done quicker. And Living can... your life in constant angst and stress is not healthy. Well, you know, when you kicked me out of the Justin Bieber shoot, do you know what happened to me? Yeah. My entire body healed. I felt so great. My leg didn't hurt out. that day or anything. Yeah, we, I was we like, didn't kick you out of the really Justin Bieber shoot. Out. Yes, you did. I saw you. <laughs> kick me out Dave of it. Dave and I both turned to them and were like, Jason, no, maybe not on this one. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't kick you out. No, I know you didn't. I didn't care anyway. I was glad. I had to, I had to get a lot done. I had to go. What did you tell Karen? <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did you tell your I, I walked in I walked in and she was having coffee with my mom and I was like they fucking kicked me out <laughs> <laughs> the real estate agent you bragged to about you and Justin Bieber yeah it's not happening Justin was busy another, another day another day I was like they chose Carly and Aaron over me and they were, they, they were like oh that's okay well now you can sit with us and I was like yeah I guess <laughs> I went to a club the other night mm. and it's because this guy, this guy invites us to go to clubs. He's always like, please come out, please come out. I'm like, yeah, okay, fine. We'll stop by. Sure. So he stopped by. He's like a promoter. 
and there's a there's a woman there that's working the door, and I know I know like the higher ups at this at this bar, but they're just not working there that day. Mm-hmm. Um, so this woman's working the door. I've never met her before, and this guy's trying to get us in, and she's like not budging. He goes, "They're YouTubers. They have a blah blah blah," mm-hmm. and he like he like talks about. I hate that. Uh, I hate that. It's like my pet peeve. Yeah. Um, but he said it, and all I hear is we're like a good ten feet away, mm-hmm. and all I hear is her go the the woman go. I don't give a fuck about YouTubers. Tell them to go get a real fucking job. <laughs> That's what she says. Ouch. That's fucking crazy. But didn't you get in? No. Anyway? No, I just left. I oh, was, you did? You I, just left? I've just that was like the that was like the most disrespectful thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Tell them to go get so a real crazy. fucking job. What planet are you on? Also, what? like you're just working a hostess standard. Like, what makes you more significant than somebody else? It was insane i i I would never ever talk about anybody in that way that doesn't it doesn't compute it doesn't make any sense to me she she just has a poor definition of what it is i mean she thinks it's very easy an easy job i understand that but like no matter for some people it is no matter what what the job is i i i mean i can even agree i couldn't even name a job that's pointless but, but but whatever you do like go get a real job 100 percent. does that mean 100 percent. go Keep going. Go off, sis. Yeah, go off, sis. Do well, it. Listen, this, this one, this one, you're right. Amy, that works at fucking <laughs> no. I'm not, I, I, you know, I've decided I'm not even gonna say her name or the name of the club because I'm above that. <laughs> I'm above that. So mature. But I did get her name because yeah. I pray to God there is an instance in five years where she applies for a job with me and I get to go. Go get a real fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be sweet. I have her name, and I. Is that I, what you thought in the shower later that night? No, you that, go get a real job, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I wrote her name down and everything. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, no, she's like, it's like a. This That's is like not like you. It's not. It's not. But you should have been there. <laughs> yeah, like, you should have seen how nasty this this girl really? was. Really? That's all I heard. Yeah. Like, imagine what else she said that I didn't hear. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She was very nasty. Yeah. And yes, yeah, so I'll get her back later in the future. Guys, we work hard. I was in a. F- I was fucking buried alive this week. It's not even about Twice. that. It's not even about that. Natalie was really shy in 2017, <laughs> and now she's a fucking queen. <laughs> so get it. Get it right. No, it's not even about how hard we work. It's just about like it's just about a person being like just disrespectful. Respectful. That, that's what it more. is. It, it has nothing to do with our jobs. Oh. All right, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys for listening to the Views Podcast. Make sure you go check out Jason's Birch. It's, it's getting better. Um, then, and so is ours because I make it. Yeah, Natalie's getting Making better. Making it in the back better. <laughs> Natalie, Natalie makes it in her room. Little little shop. <laughs> My small uh, job. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for listening. We'll see you guys later. This is the Views Podcast. My name is Jeff. Bye. <laughs>